I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you, YouTube. I've had enough of you, YouTube. About YouTubed out with your punk ass YouTubing. YouTubed out. What's up, the master IT in the house with the eyeballs? We got you by the balls. And when the police show up, we give it to them all. It's the big homie Tom from Colorado. We on a stroll. Pulling on the women from Colorado Pet Patrol. I don't know how that works. We're looking for Unit D. Um, but again, I don't know how that works, but I think we'll figure it out. Let's go get in here. Share it out. Like it. Do it all. Hit the like, guys. Smash the like. This should be good. Cooley, if you want to just quickly glance through if you want. Um, it's up to you, buddy. I can wait five minutes if you want. Give you a little chance to just read my notes. Um, just big notes. Dude, grooming is shit. Trying to set them up with a, an another adult. That's probably the biggest felony I would say out of this. You can't set up kids with other adults. You can't do that. Yeah. So, um, not super sexual, but does talk sexual, obviously. So, yeah, just have at it, brother. Give you five or ten minutes if you want. Sorry, guys. Cooley was uh, not 100% planning on coming just because he's got, you know, he's got things he's got to do. But he he had enough time, drove an hour up here to, to come help me out. So we appreciate him as always. Um, he actually knows a lot about this case. He doesn't know everything, but he knows a lot about it because he worked in this case for, for quite a while. Like today he was telling me shit about her that I didn't know. So he did some low sentence too. I do believe we're close to 100% on the address. However, I do know where they both work and I know their schedules. So if something happens today, we're obviously not gonna turn it into the police today. If we don't see them, we'll go out and get them another day. Like this weekend. It asked, Tom. Yeah, Tom, you were right, man. You were right. I'm, I apologize. You were right. Um, she was being sneaky with her boyfriend, but she does have like a weird kind of open relationship thing. But she was being sneaky with her boyfriend. So we were kind of both right. Um, she had the decoy get her to sneak out of the house. And she was talking about erasing messages and shit because she doesn't want to get caught by her boyfriend. Um, cat's out of the bag, you guys. We're catching a female. Cat's out of the bag. Cat's out of the bag. If she runs, she can't run far. Cat's out of the bag. We got a 26 year old female today. today, today. Um, what's scary about this, you guys, there's three people involved, right? So we got the girl. She tried to hook up the, a threesome with daddy, right? And then uh, the husband knows too. So we have three people that know this child is 14, three. Um, obviously we're only catching one today. I can't prove that the husband did anything wrong. I can't prove it other than what she said. So unfortunately, um, you know, for an arrestable thing, I think she's the only one that could get arrested. Believe me, I'm going to try to work on the on the interview. Um, but I really wish we were meeting daddy. However, husband doesn't know about daddy. Daddy is, uh, daddy is, uh, we have pictures of daddy. Whew, I'm nerved up, Coolsty. I'm nerved up and we got Cooley here. I don't plan on running today. I got my flip flops on. <laughs> I'm a mess today, you guys. I am a mess. Oh, showed up without a hat, wearing flip-flops. Yeah, no, but we're not running. First lady getting caught? Yes, first lady. For us. I mean, we've had couples. Um, but this is our first actual... If I think it's right, it's probably going to go like this. Clearly, like A, B, C, D. Yeah. It's D. If I'm right, it's to the right. The window's wide open. Somebody's home. I, I could be wrong. But the window's open for sure. You ready, bro? Uh, they're empty. I'll leave it there for now. You ready? All right. Do we got our cop collar on here? Let's just make sure we got our cop collar on here. As soon as we make contact, uh, cop collar, if you could do your thing. I'm excited, guys. Much love for Coolie Sean. Absolutely, man. That's my boy. I'm going to just make sure we got cop collar on. Once I get the okay, we'll go. What up, Taylor? No problem. Not yet. No, this is not a trans woman. This is a woman woman. Okay, she's here. All right, I'm gonna finish the cigarette and then we'll go. You ready? Love you, brother. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. Not because it's just... It, so, again, there's three people involved. Yeah. Daddy, husband, and her. She says... Are they looking out the window? Somebody's looking out the window. 
So if you look, you can look through the bush. There's a window open to the right. I swear somebody's looking at it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they can see us. I think somebody's sitting in a chair, maybe. Yeah. Or I'm tripping. Or I'm tripping. It's gonna be good. Unicorn catch, yeah. I can't fucking tell, man. They can't run, you know? Yeah. I don't even have a belt. I can't run. What's up, guys? How many people we got in here? 1,300 with 200 likes? Yeah. I don't know what it is about the likes. Smash the likes, guys. Please, let's get it to 1,000 real quick. As soon as we hit 1,000, we're going to go knock on the door. Hey. I'm just kidding. What? What's the name? Huh? What's the name? Um, Holy, can you give me the... Uh, just, just say Tanya. Tanya, right? This first page. Yep. Tanya. Just, just say Tanya. We don't, we don't need to know more than that right now. I wouldn't be surprised if she got a warrant. She got a pretty good rap sheet, like fleeing and whatever, fl taking a flight to, uh, evade prosecution and shit. Yeah. A couple of those, a lot of drug shit. It's all drug shit. Hi. Tanya. Just say Tanya, then. Y'all ready? No, it's not a trans, guys. It's not a trans, not a trans. I don't know where you're getting that. It's not a trans. It is just a woman. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in. We're getting ready to go. I mean, we can go down. You ready? Y'all ready for this? So I'm ready. It's gonna be that one right there, boy. Tanya? Yes, yes, My name's Tommy. I'm with Colorado Pet Patrol. You want to go outside and have a little talk, or you want to talk in here? Uh, we're, we can go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'll grab that book. Shit. You know what's up, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we're not the police, so you're lucky there. Oh, yeah. I've seen you guys on TikTok. You've seen us? Yeah. So you know what we're out here doing? Yeah. Okay. Do you know why we're here? Yeah. Can you go out that car? Sure. I mean, as long as we can get the shade somewhere. Uh, Otherwise, these cameras will turn off, and I can't have them turn off because then you can say we Let's go beside the building. Sure. Sure. Are you trying not to ask your husband here? No, he knows. He knows, he knows that it's a 14 year old? He knows, he told me. She told me my kids are around, and I have my hair to shake off. And I'm like. Oh. Just so you know, we're not law enforcement. We're not here to hurt you, obviously. We're trying to find out what the hell you're doing. I was so being you, stupid. Being stupid? Yeah. You like little girls? No. No. What, what made you like this little girl? I wasn't talking to her sexual. At one point there was a point, but I, I was getting talked into it and stuff. And Who was talking you into it? Some other dude I met online. A guy, Daddy? This Daddy? Guy called him. He, yeah. he, he was talk, trying to talk you into getting with this 14-year-old? Mm -hmm. But no, no, at first it was just me, like, oh gosh. Relax, we're not going to hurt you. We're just you recording know, for your safety. No, that's why I didn't go. That's why I wasn't going to do none of this Well, you're, stuff. he's I'm sick, just... right? Your husband's sick? Huh? Your husband's not feeling good yeah, today? He's not feeling good. Okay. He has a little fever. That's why you didn't want to go, right? That's another reason why. The other reason was, was I talked to my therapist yesterday because I do go to therapy and stuff. And he's like, no, this isn't good and stuff. And I'm like, okay, you're right. I felt a little weird at first. She was like, on the app, she was like 33. And then right away, she's like 14 when she texted me and stuff. And then I'm like, well, no, there needs to be boundaries. Like, there can't be that. You did say a lot of that. You because did. Because I, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't want none of that. Like, Just relax, relax. I think I think you're you, you got like a saving grace that it's us and not the police, right? Because I'm pretty sure you know what happened if it's the police, right? Um, you were trying to.
basically hook her up with another adult. That's what makes me like more frustrated. And that's what I understood at the point. And I told him, I got to the point where I'm like, no, I can't, I can't do that. It doesn't feel right. It just... You told your therapist this? Did your therapist know it was a 14 year old? Mm -hmm. I told him. And I told him I hadn't met her and stuff. Okay. Have you met with a child before? No. This is the first one you were talking to? Um, it did get pretty sexual. I think you were very careful, obviously, right? Because you knew it was against the law. You said it several times that you didn't want to go to jail for this, that it wasn't worth it. But when she, like, kind of, I guess you could say, broke up with you and went away, you kept messaging her and you were like, listen, when we get together, we could talk. But you talked about, you know, making out and doing things and, and hooking her up with another man. How old is that guy? I don't know. You don't know? And like I said, I felt bad afterwards and stuff. That's why I just let it drop after I met him and everything. So you don't, you never hung out with him a lot? I've never hung out so that day when you had her sneak you out of the house, mm -hmm. that was your first day meeting him, and he really wanted this 14-year-old? And I told him no. I told him I couldn't do it. It didn't feel right. How old did he think she was? He, I told him the truth. You and he still wanted it? Mm -hmm. Do you talk to him anymore? No, do you have any gone. of those messages where he was okay with her being 14? Mm -hmm. It was on Snapchat. It's all gone. You erased it or it just no, goes it, away? No, Snapchat automatically erases stuff. Okay. And your husband clearly knew she was 14 too, right? And he told me not to do it too. He told you not to do it? Mm -hmm. it sounded like he, he wanted to hang out with you. No, he wanted to make sure I was safe. And then we talked about it more last night after I talked to my therapist. And they're like, no, that's why like, I can't. I still thought about it today. And he's like, I don't care. It's whatever you do is whatever you do. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to stay home and help you and take care of you. Which is good. And I, and I do think that you were very, you very... You're going to put this on, on TikTok and stuff? Not TikTok, no, but it's going to be online. I mean, you're out here talking sexual to a child. I understand. I mean, I know you said that you went through a lot more than she did when you were 14, but that kind of doesn't give you the reason to go out and do that to her, right? No, I agree. Were you were you gonna have a relationship with this child? Like, no. Because no? you guys were talking about like, if her mom said it was okay, you would have a relationship with her. As starting out friendship because she's underage, like that's. Right. Right. But I know I get what you're saying. But you said once you get to know each other, it's gonna make the pleasure feel so much better. You know, you not talk. just to get to know me and stuff, because as years go and we just develop a friendship, like mm -hmm. and when she becomes of age, if that even happens, then mm -hmm. like I was thinking like long term, not like sure. right now. Like I don't want you. Like there needs to be boundaries. And sure, stuff. sure, sure. You did say a lot of that. You did. Because I truly believe that. But that day you, you wanted to come pick her up to go with that guy. I guess I, that, that was sexual. She was 14 that day. I wasn't waiting till she was 18, right? No, I understand that. So how do we make sure you don't do this again? I'm not going to. You're not going to? No. What kept I'm... you going? Because you guys have been talking for how long? I think two months. A few months at least, right? I think you're more close. Are we closer to like six months? I don't know. You don't I know? I don't know. I don't remember, honestly. Okay. You told her, you know, you guys could have that threesome and she could join in, touch herself or whatever she's comfortable with. Yes, I agree. You got to make sure that he's okay with it, but you guys could mess with each other. Um, kiss, and touch each other. Talking through me. Like, so he was the one messaging that? No, no. He messaged me and was saying that, and I was replying it. And like I said, I was. You did say that I one day. You're like, hey, this okay. guy, this guy wants another person involved, and I thought about you, right? So he asked you to get another girl involved or something, and then you thought it was okay to have a 14 year old. No, that... she got brought up because I was just gonna use her to get out of the house. You're gonna use her to get out of the house? I think that was over here. Yeah. Are you not wanting him to know, or? No, I just, to see other guys, it's different. Hey, what do you mean, like, you don't? Because it's a different guy, and she, it's I mean, whatever, if you guys have an open relationship, that's, that's your stuff, right? But, like, just so you know, in Colorado, telling a girl, you know, that you want to meet up with her, and, and it's essentially you were trying to give a child to another man. Mm -hmm. Isn't he, like, and 54 realize... years old? How old is he? 48? Okay, I knew he was like, I think like 25 years or something older than you, right? And I do believe there was a lot of messages of you talking about you three. No, no. That was always never. the other guy? Yes. Who's the picture you sent? Who, what guy was that? Was that, that was daddy? The other dude. That was daddy? And you only seen him once? Because in here you made it seem like, mm -hmm. you know, he was your daddy only and once. only one time. And we've talked on like the phone and on cams. Mm -hmm. And he was the one that was trying to push you to meeting with her. How long has it been since you've talked to that guy? How many weeks? Mm, month? About a month. A month. Like so right after that whole thing. What was? Is that your husband? No. Gone up. No, that's just a friend. I invited okay. over to hang out. Nothing. Nothing to do with the child. No. no, okay. no, no, no.
Um, so, okay, so a month ago, this guy was the one that was trying to get you to hook up with a 14-year-old. But yesterday, you were talking sexual. The day before. I, I mean, in the last couple of days. Um, Not in the last couple of days. I haven't, I haven't. You were just saying, just say no, we can back off. I mean, maybe you're still talking about this guy. That's why I'm a little confused. But see, a lot of it, when that guy started pushing and stuff, like, I started feeling really uncomfortable because I, like, felt like he was pushing me, too. And I already felt uncomfortable about this situation because of me, personally. And so when he started pushing for it more, like, I just couldn't do it. I just felt it was getting even worse. I mean, I didn't. So you're saying you started feeling uncomfortable that you were going to traffic a child to a 52-year-old man. That was making you uncomfortable? The whole situation, just how he was pushing, like, I already felt uncomfortable because I didn't really want to bring in a third person. Right. And stuff after not even knowing him very well. But but you'd pick a fourteen year old if you're gonna do it. it seems it's fucking dirty, dirty, dirty. You were talking about dating future. Um, are you wanting to meet up so I can make love to you? And then you what? said you said she asked you what kind of car you have. You said why are you wanting to meet up so we can make love in my car? What? I can show it to you. And then she said, is that what you want to do? You said, that's, that's exactly what I want to do. And, and I can show you. I wouldn't. Are no, you the, I don't, I don't. Are you the only one messaging this girl? Yes. You are? So your, yes. your boyfriend was never talking to her? No. All right. So just, just, I want to keep it very transparent. No, I believe you. This is you, right? This is her. Just curious if you had a car. What, are you wanting to meet me somewhere so we can make love together? Please explain, right? Do you remember saying that? And then that would be cool. Why? Is that, is that what you want to do? Yes, that's what I want to do. And that was nothing to do with that guy. So you wanted to come pick her up and you set up. How many times did you actually try to meet with her that she couldn't come? Once. Twice. One other time. Well, once well, with the guy. And then the other time. Once with the guy. And then one time you're like, hey, I can come get you right now because I need to take a picture for yeah. your boyfriend. Because you want me to be safe and everything. Well, no, because you were lying to your boyfriend, which mm -hmm. whatever. You were lying to your boyfriend. So you were using this 14-year-old to sneak out of the house to go have sex with this other guy or whatever. That's your business. Mm -hmm. But so, so that was two. And then today you were going to meet up, but you said you slept in. And then you uh -huh. said he was sick and maybe you could come later. You were also yeah. like, you were gonna accept gas money from a child. Mm -hmm. Fucking dirty dog shit right there, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna, you're gonna take a child's money to come fuck a child? Like, I mean. I understand. What if, what if, like, there's you no good excuse You realize that's like that. seventh grade, right? Yes, I do. I didn't <clears throat> think about it, but I do. You think you're a predator? I don't want to be one. I don't. I've never been in this situation. I. How'd you allow it? And I know you got some health issues, so just we're we're trying to be calm. Make sure you're all right. No, you guys are fine. I understand how this goes. Well, you found yourself in a situation where you're going to hand a child over to a 52-year-old man, and, as he just read in the chats, have sex with her yourself just the other day. Don't you think your husband would be worried about what's going on out here? He probably is, and I'm going to tell him the whole thing. What are you going to tell him? Exactly the truth, because he told me something like this could happen. You told you told her that he knew the age and he understood and told you to look back when you were 14. So, like, essentially was sticking up for this 14-year-old, and you're like, hey, I, I actually thought about it, but these things I want to say to you, I have to say in person, because you were worried about putting stuff in chat. It's scary because you, you, you definitely were the most... You're the first girl we've ever caught out of 322 people. I mean, be proud of yourself. I'm not. You're the first fucking girl we've ever caught. Okay. I'm not. And and I have never seen this grooming technique done so perfect. Never. It's interesting to look at it in the mind of a female predator. Like we haven't had a chance. Like you are our first. Grooming. Grooming. Yeah, that's the whole lead up to when you invited her over to start being sexual, all that kind of stuff making friends with her. We, we don't normally see it like that. It's a really slow burn. At least it was for you. You wanted her to ask your, her mom. Well, because I didn't want to hang out with her without like, so if her mom permission. says, I just... if her mom says yes, it's okay to rape a girl because mom no, says no, it's okay? No, 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 it wasn't. I wasn't thinking sexual when I'm talking about like her parents and stuff. Like I wanted to be safe. I wanted things to be safe. I, sure. I wanted, I was trying to, it, it, it was all wrong. I it's all fucked that. up, it right? It was all wrong. None of my excuses matter. Well, I mean, you said I I can't be without permission, meaning the mom. It's a felony. I gotta be safe. Because I do gotta be safe. Right, because you don't wanna go to jail, right? Exactly. 
but but I, you could set this girl up with this guy, you know, and he's not 52. The the boyfriend's 48. How old was this guy? I don't know. You have no idea, but he's older, right? 40s. You have no idea. So. so so you're just randomly meeting these guys again. That's fine, but you're gonna put somebody you don't even know, and you kept telling him like, if you don't want it, just tell me. We'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. Like. But you don't even know this guy. So you're going to bring this 14-year-old girl. You told her the name of the hotel room. Unfortunately, we were catching somebody else, so we couldn't come. Hotel room? Yeah, where that guy got the hotel. Oh, no. He, okay, I get what you're saying. Okay. I mean, did you guys not get a hotel? No, he he's there for his job. Oh. But you, you told her a hotel. Mm. That's where you wanted her to go. No, I told her to text me to meet me there. Oh, that was the sneak out. out. Oh, okay, okay. I no, that wasn't. Said. That was the sneak you out. Yeah, from this. I okay, she okay. Hang her money. I'm her whoever Were you sober when you talked to this girl? Yes. Yeah. As far as I remember, I mean, I do weed. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. It's Colorado. Who doesn't? You do anything else? I mean, no, that's I've up to you. I've been sober for like six years. So, good for you. I had to quit for my transplant. So. Okay, so you've been sober talking to this child so you were always clear-minded talking to this child right yes. I'm just trying to I know you're just trying to understand yeah well people keep hunting our kids man we gotta figure this out we've got children he's got children that age older <laughs> yeah made it through thank goodness yeah no I'm gonna I could just tell you guys what I'm gonna do, but that doesn't matter. Well, what are you gonna do? What scene. are you gonna do? I'm not gonna talk to nobody else online, especially like that. Well, I mean, especially, you're especially. I don't care. Obviously, you, you you have some, you know, you and your husband have some kind of deal. That's fine, right? You can meet people, but no, just, children is crossing the line, don't you think? I understand. I know you understand, but. You tried, and again, and I don't I, think, you're not the sexualist person. You did 100% tell her and intended on having the sexual relationship. The thing that makes me more mad is that's terrible enough. You were bringing another man that didn't care. That man upstairs knew, so we had two men and you know this is the fourth. Okay. That she was 14, he didn't know? Not no, only he that, knew, man. He didn't know about the other dude, that's what I thought you meant. So, so. You're like super grooming. Like, look at all these pages. Look at this. 189 pages. 189 pages of you talking, making friends to this child. Before what? You want to, this child to meet up with another adult for sex? Before you I try to meet I up with this child? I at that time. I, I admit what I did was wrong. Were you thinking this morning? This morning, yes. I was thinking. Were you thinking yesterday? Yeah. I mean, you set up the meet yesterday. I know, and I was going to go. I, I intended to and go. I appreciate and you being honest. And yeah, I, I, I wanted, I needed to, boundaries to be in set, and then I know I crossed them at some points, but I wanted to put them back and... Wouldn't boundaries be, as soon as a 14 year old tells you the age, the boundary would be bye bye? That would be a boundary that would probably be appropriate, not not telling her that you're gonna... That's correct. Bring her into a threesome, and I, I'll have to double check, but I really believe that you, you had your husband come, you guys are gonna watch movies no. today. Today. Yeah. He was well, gonna that come. was after, like, okay, so I talked with my man yesterday. He's like, I don't care. I could go if you would make sure you're safe and everything. I'm like, okay. But then, like, after my therapist and stuff, he's like, I don't care. You can go or whatever right. if you're going to. I'm not going to. So if he would have gone and you guys were watching movies, he would just watch you guys make out? He wouldn't no, have jumped he, in? But none of that would have happened. None of that would have happened. So what were your intentions to go meet her? Why did you want to meet her? Or why did you guys want to hang out? What was, what was it for? I honestly, I'm stupid and I wanted more friends. And I, that doesn't. You can have friends. That doesn't it's make super up weird for, when your profile says, strictly says. I know a couple looking for third wife swap, or, right? Mm -hmm. So you're looking to pass somebody to your husband, and and you're gonna go to somebody's, or vice versa, whatever, right? That's that's what a wife swap. You're gonna swap girls, right? Mm -hmm. And then for the threesome, you invited some random guy you met off the internet, but you were very trusting of him telling this girl that, I admit that he only wants to do what you want to do um if you want him to stop we can just do stuff as he plays with us you can just play with yourself i admit that was wrong i wasn't thinking that day this whole fucking thing is wrong I... this is nasty i know you said you don't want to be a predator but i'm telling you right here today the last four months um you're a predator well there's no more there's not gonna be no more just one child huh no. One child from our community. That's it. Is that acceptable? No, it's not. 
I get you're frustrated and sad or I'm you know not, ashamed, I'm, but these kids you got caught. You should be. You should be disappointed in yourself. It's a scumbag move that you made today. Yes. And we're being very easy on you. Obviously, you're a female. You know, we catch men, dirty men. You even said in here, I don't remember what you said, but you said that you're trying to be respectful because you don't have balls like a man or something like that. Because you know how men talk online. I'll tell you what, I've never seen a man as good at grooming as I've seen you. It was really, really different to see the mind of a grooming female. And maybe you didn't know you were doing it, but you made her trust you. You made her feel that you were there for her. Uh, you you clearly put in there because you didn't want her, you know, to get yourself in trouble that you that you weren't going to do anything sexual. And then when she broke up with you, you're like, listen, I can tell you in person. And then you you tried to hook her up with another man. Mm -hmm. Then you said you were going to do and things that's with when her. I wasn't thinking and stuff. I, I was. So when you were talking sexual, you weren't thinking, but the rest of the time you were thinking. I don't think you're thinking at all if you're trying to meet a child, right? Right. But you wanted to tell her in person because you didn't want to say it online because no. that could be evidence, 100%. right? Hundred percent. Okay. I mean, you knew. Well, you said you're nervous. You you couldn't. You're nervous to tell her online. She'd have to wait till she was in person. But why is that? You tell me. Why Why did you want to wait to tell her in person exactly I what you wanted to do? I understand that there needed to be boundaries efforts and stuff. And I understand like with the whole dude and stuff. Like I understand that. Like I admit, I fucked up completely yeah. with that part. Like what completely. Boundaries? And that's why like that was like. A two a couple day thing and then I'm like no more I didn't even bring it up again because it, it like I said it felt wrong to me it felt very dirty and well so you were gonna meet her today and set what boundaries like what do you mean by that like I want when she said her mom wasn't gonna be there, I'm like oh well I thought your mom was gonna be there like because I wanted to meet you didn't her think mom. her mom was gonna be there when you came today no I te she said oh my mom's leaving at 11 she said that yesterday right and I'm then like, she oh, said I my mom's mom gone gonna be there. Uh -uh. she said my mom's gone and you said well my husband's sick I might be able to come later you were coming when mom left I'm telling you right now. No. I, you want to pull out your phone and look? I don't have it on me. No, okay. I told her yesterday that I thought her mom was going to be there. I so you were going it. to meet her mom today? I was hoping to meet her and her Were mom you going to bring her mom when you were going to have sex with that th the threesome? No. no. Come on, man. Get no. real. <laughs> yeah, of course not. Of course not. You did say, and I'm not going to lie, you did say that you wanted to get her to get permission from her mom. You did to say hang that. hang out with me and stuff, Right, yes. right. No, That's you said, you actually about. told her, tell your mom that you want a girlfriend and you want to be with me. Well, no, I felt like she should be open with her mom. Correct. She's going to be open because my mom Correct. found out the wrong way. Right, right, right. But you told her, tell your mom you want to be with women so you can be with me. You so did you, say that. So you planned on having a relationship with this 14 year old if mom said yes. So if mom was going to allow you to rape her, you were No, it wasn't it. going to be sexual. Like there's different, okay, I get what you're saying. Though. Wasn't going to be sexual. But you were gonna pleasure her? You wanna make love? I admit, I put that. I wouldn't say anything you didn't say. Just without permission, it's a felony. I'd rather be safe. So if mom said yes, do you think the, the law would give a fuck that mom said yes? No. They'd probably take the kid from the mom, right? Like, mm -hmm. do you have any kids? No. Is your husband available? Like, would he talk to us or no? No. He won't? He's sick in bed. He's sick in bed? But he's got friends coming over? No, that's my friend. I oh, have coming gotcha, up. That's gotcha. why I told him just to go ahead and go out. You think he's a little weirded out by this? Probably. I mean, that's why he told me not to do it. He did. Yeah. So he, he knew too. He told me yesterday not to go after I talked to my therapist because right. I told him what my therapist said. My so a bunch of people know you're talking to a 14-year-old. And they were all against it. That's why I was. Well, two of them weren't against it. Husband wasn't against it, and uh, daddy wasn't against it. Therapist was against it, and mm -hmm. this guy was. And against that's it. what made me. This is another first for this catch. I, yeah. I've never seen a catch where so many people knew that a predator was preying on a child. Yeah, and it wasn't stopped by anybody. This kind of smells like trafficking to me, to be honest. No. Like this child was going to be passed around between a bunch of people, maybe. No. This surely this sounds is, like. This is terrifying as as a parent. Like, what? You have. You said earlier that 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 you wanted to stop because it felt wrong. You realize that this adults, like someone touching a child for most adult humans is an absolute red line. Like it's not an issue where you could be like, oh, I feel kind of bad about what I'm doing. I've never talked to a child on that. Tommy, have you? Never, That's not your child? Never. And I didn't even set boundaries. My boundary was it's a child. You don't talk to children. I don't think most adults do, but this isn't for most people like like an issue where you could say wow I, I feel like maybe this is a bad thing as as and you're telling your friends who are showing up here you're telling some random guy on snapchat 
who you were going to, you know, pass this girl on to, like, and this sounds awful. Happen. This None is, this is horrifying. It's not going to happen because we're here. That's why it's not going to happen. And you said you've seen us, yes, meaning sir. this group right here. Yes, sir. And you still did it. How many catches of ours have you seen? Just a couple on TikTok. What Which one's your favorite? This will be the most popular. Just read that first sentence. Age don't matter. I just get busy sometimes because I had a kidney. Well, I yeah. had a transplant. Yeah. Age don't matter. How low does it go? This is the first time I've ever been this low. It's always been. It's the first time. How low does it go, though? It's never been low. It's never. It's been. It's to been low months. once. Yes, it has. So, no, this is the who is that man? That's the dude from. Okay, and he's the one that wanted the child. Can you show that picture quick? This is the guy she was trying to set up with a 14 year old. So we'll put his face all over the internet too. You don't talk to him anymore? No. Would he, would he answer if you called him? I don't have his number. You don't have his number? I completely deleted him off of Snapchat and everything. Like I don't talk to him anymore. What, what, what was the big breakup with him? Just wasn't, you weren't into because it or whatever? Because he kept pushing and pushing and I didn't feel right. He kept pushing and pushing and pushing. How did he know there was a 14 year old? That was me. I told him I was gonna use her to get out of the house, and then that's when he started pushing me to. So to she's more. random dude. You're like, hey, I'm gonna use this 14 year old that I'm talking to online to get me to go see you. Did your husband know about that? No. Do you have all of those? All of what? I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah, they're all here. Every one of them are here. I made one book, so yep, they're here. Okay. So you don't want your husband to know. He's obviously sick, but he doesn't know you were out using a 14 year old to, mm -hmm. to fuck dudes or whatever you're doing whatever that's your own business but again ellie's 14 years old and uh you thought she was pretty sexy you were curious as you know who she had sex with and, and you said as much as i'm tempted i don't got the balls like most men do because it didn't feel right your you age scares the, me i don't want to get in trouble go ahead you do realize the damage this could do to a child you passed a 14 year old seventh grade child onto some guy you don't even know his name on the internet you met him through snapchat and you're gonna hand a 14 year old girl to him wait that makes sense i don't know how that makes sense but it doesn't. yeah but that child could be having issues 40 years from now from that right mm -hmm. are you starting to realize that's why it's a red line for people you can't just destroy a life because it's fun or for laughs what did you mean by this comment? If you don't like me as a person, trust me, I'm terrible sexually. What did you mean by that? I don't know what I mean. You don't know? And then um, you said, uh, <clears throat> getting to know me um, is the way to make things happen. Yeah, and then the decision is up to you whether you want to mess with me or not. That's in the long run and everything. Okay, like, the long run. That's what I was meaning. So you were going to be four years without touching her? Yes, and then and as soon as you turn eighteen, I, yeah, I understand. that's that's fine. Before this, you could say I understand the boundaries. Yeah, well, let me tell you, in the state of Colorado, that's not fine. Talking to a minor who you know is a minor, any kind of sexually, you could have been like, "Hey, I got big tits. Want to meet?" It's a felony. Mm -hmm. Setting up the meet, coming to meet, and now, now you're in a different world because you were trying to set up a fourteen-year-old girl with some random ass guy from the internet that you made her believe the grooming part that you knew him very well and that you trusted him and that he would stop when she said to stop. He wants to do what she wants to do. Because and only... I was going to make sure of it. I wasn't. Like you, you could have took that guy. If he started hurting that girl, you could have took that guy. I would have did what I could. Sure. I don't care. Sure. So you're going to scoop someone's child off the internet hand her to some random guy and you were going to take care of it to make sure she wasn't harmed by this guy that was the plan this is what i'm hearing yeah the way you make it sound it doesn't sound really <laughs> he's just telling you how it was the way i make it sound and the... she broke up with you stopped talking to you and you messaged her one after another and then said i talked to my husband last night and he said remember how you you, you know you were when you were 14 mm -hmm. and then you said i I just want to talk to you in person and and i understand we don't have to go by your boundaries like super weird super weird at best you're 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 a predator at best if you would have met her and had sex with her it would have been you would have been a, a rapist because a 14 year old cannot consent just because you were having sex at 14 were you having sex with adults 
Okay. Well, they should be in prison. Do you think that might be why you're doing things you're doing today because of some things that you had to go through, unfortunately? You think that could tie in? Possibility? Because now this 14 year old in 25 years could be going through the same thing you're going through because it's a cycle and it's a vicious cycle. And I just can't believe, how many other people know you were talking to a child? Just the four? Well, I guess five with your therapist. And yeah. none of them. And I just told my therapist yesterday. And you said she was 14 and all that. Did you tell her about the sexual shit and all that? Of course no. not. And what, so what did she say? He said it's wrong, Pretty. but I shouldn't be. And like he understands, like I was saying boundaries and stuff, but it it wasn't right. You, you told him you were setting boundaries. You told him you were setting I, boundaries. I tried setting boundaries and shit. I told him that I wanted boundaries. You did say that a lot, a lot. Because I, that's honestly how I felt like. I don't care about people's ages as long as everybody watches our boundaries and stuff like and maybe that's my problem maybe that's you can't be hanging out with other people's kids you know especially when you're you're meeting them on a sex what you're looking for is sex 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 you you clearly say it in your in your uh, profile i really think and i can't prove it but reading these messages your husband was definitely down for it. I really think you come into the house to watch movies and eat McDonald's. Um, I don't think what happened. It was the Netflix and chill. I mean, because you said something about you got Netflix on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. Netflix and chill. What does that mean? Typically, you know what it means. You don't know? Is that, is that what you do? You meet people and just Netflix and chill? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what I'm saying is you... Are you talking about hook up? Right. Oh, I haven't heard that. Well, I mean, you were just going to go watch a movie with her. That was yeah. it. And your husband was going to watch to make sure you were safe with this 14 year old. Or was he going to make sure you didn't no, touch her? He, before, with the movie, that was just me and her. Like, he wasn't, that was when he wasn't going to be coming. Before that, I was thinking, girl, I'll just go to McDonald's, get something to eat, meet her, and then take her. Who was going to pay for that McDonald's? Me. <laughs> or you asked her for the 50 bucks. What was the 50 bucks going to cover? Yes. It cost 50 bucks to get from here to Westminster and back? Be real. $50? What kind of car do you try? That'll fill your tank, right? You get 300 miles a gallon. That's 31 miles. I mean, you, okay. come on. You were going to take a 14-year-old's $50. I understand. I, I know you understand. What's, what's that? I'm like, huh? Oh, you're good. Okay. You're good right there. So, I mean, I, accountability is my biggest thing. You don't want your husband to know. I don't know if it's just because he's sick or you just don't want him to know because no, he's sick. you were fucking certainly doing some shady ass shit to your husband and obviously that's been something in the past because he takes your phone and looks through it oh. like you know whatever that's your own relationship but you were trying to get her to cover your ass by um meeting her and taking pictures mm -hmm. to cover for you a minute ago you said you had boundary issues and i'm by no means a therapist and i i, I would agree with you i i I, I would think that everyone has boundary issues to some degree or another. I would guess. I don't know. Again, I'm not a doctor. But it, it seems in my mind you have more child trafficking issues. Like your issue is you were trying to pass ch children to adults that you don't know on the Internet, right? That, that seems wildly different or maybe more intense, you know. Again, no doctor, but, 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 but boiling trafficking a child to another adult down to boundary issues that's that seems it it seems a little weak to me right yeah can i ask you an honest question and see if you'll be honest was that guy offering money he wasn't offering money never was talked about money you sure yes. this man that just walked into your house did you ever he doesn't know nothing about this okay he just said he did at any point did 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 no. you tell her did you tell him that they could meet in any capacity no. with this child? No. No. You didn't tell the other guy? You you had a plan to meet the three. She told the Snapchat. I was talking about the guy that just walked into her yeah. house. But he doesn't know nothing about any of this. No. Except just, for the, my man does. You just said the guy that walked in knew it was fourteen and he told you no. to stay away too. No, okay. All right. Him, I'm gonna I, highlight that because I promise you just said it. With him? Like literally, I'll with do a that, little cut he, back on yeah, the edit, yeah, yeah. and then we'll that, go. Right like I could bring my phone, just sent the messages asking him his opinion on that. Mm -hmm. That's what I. The mean. friend. Yes. 
but he told you not to do this. Yes, and right before you guys showed up. Like, I didn't talk to him before that or anything. He you said last night he told you not to do no, this. No, that was Justin. No, no, the guy that walked in. I no, asked, no. So you just told him today? Yes. So he knew today that she was 14, not yesterday. Yes. He, By he text. didn't know nothing about it. <clears throat> And you asked his opinion on that. And he said it was what wrong. Was it could be another Specifically, book. what was that? What was? What did you ask his opinion about? I asked his opinion about me meeting a 14-year-old in Western District. Yeah? Did you say why you were I, meeting a 14-year-old? I told him that, um, I told him, I asked for his opinion about her age and all that, and like, if I should really go down there or not. He's like, no, it sounds like it could be an undercover and stuff. And you should, to get what the fuck? So people are thinking, no, it could be an undercover. Not, no, this is terrible. Like, it's a child. Like, why are you guys worried about the police? This is a fucking they child. They did say it was terrible. That you shouldn't okay. do it. You could get you in a lot of trouble. And and trouble, don't trouble, be trouble. Don't be stupid. Trouble, trouble, trouble. What about ruining the child's life for 45 fucking years? What about that? What about being on the, uh, the sex registry for 20 years? That's what these felonies would get you. Do you realize that? You think, you think your, your work? Is gonna like it? You think Love's gonna like it? No. Like, no, they're not I, gonna like it. I feel like there's just a lot of minimization going on here. Yeah. Trouble. Yeah. Trouble, trouble. Trouble is like when you come home ten minutes late and your mom's mad, no, right? No, it's not minimalized for me. Like, I understand this whole situation. I'm not happy with it. I'm mad at what I did and everything. Your man just got caught. Because now you might get in trouble. No, I understand. I have to face up to the consequences. I don't. I, I wouldn't even say you might get in trouble. I'd say you might get in the, the corrections facility, right? Yeah. I mean, I really get trafficking by and I, will, uh, I think you would sell a child for 50 no. bucks. That's what I think. That's just my opinion. Well, she states that she just passes the child off for, for free. free. Yeah. For free. Doesn't even make any money off of it. So what now? I, I really would like to talk to your husband. But we can't make you do that. I think you belong in jail. I think you're terrible. I think you're lying. You want I wanted to, go to see turn if you. Myself in? I mean, I mean, I understand. You'll and call I, the police. Like I said, I'm not happy with myself. You'll no, call I'll the police. I'll take myself to the police station. You'll take yourself to the police station. Yes, it's only not too far. Why don't you just call them and have them come here? Because I don't want them to come here. I can call them and have them come here. I just want to tell your husband. I think he needs to know you're out there doing that, and you're telling this girl that he knew about it. And again, I do think that there was intention of all you guys having sex. No, right. not with my man at all, ever. But your wife's swapping and he wants another girl and you find another girl. I just looked over. Oh, sorry. We got to keep watching because this is not our turf. So we need to make sure that we're being safe. In. Are you random again. guys that knew you were going to try to meet with a child? This is bizarre. Man. Charge for sex? You can be honest. A long time ago. Okay. Well, I, I got other information. So I'm just really trying to see how honest you're going to be. Uh, About because five years ago, I was prostituting because I was homeless on the I, street. Okay, that sucks, and I'm sorry you had to go through that. But there hasn't been any talk of money in those last three months. I want you to be really Other honest. Other for gas. Okay, I okay. Or to, not to buy her. Or but but sell there was her there was talk about exchange of money for sex in the last three months with somebody. No. Nobody at all. No. Okay. Okay. Well, you did you you did try to get money off this girl so you could go there and from what the chat logs say for sexual. I understand. So. Do you understand that is kind of? I get where you're coming. You know, you're 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 getting something for going there, right? Um, what are your thoughts on men who would do this? I don't agree with them. What are your thoughts on men who would meet a child for sex after grooming him for a couple months? I don't agree with them. That that doesn't make what I did right either. No. Do you do you have an opinion about women who would do that? not right either it's not right no matter what we've had over 320 catches and he wasn't lying you're you're the first female that we've caught that's in just over two years and this is all new man i i am absolutely flabbergasted sorry to break out the old time you were but like is this the husband this is wild no, what's going on down here? go away cody this is my brother Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. Go I'm, away, Cody. I'm Tommy with Colorado Pet Patrol. She could tell you if she wants to, but she tried to set up a meeting for sex with a child. So just Go letting you away, know. Go away, please. <clears throat> well, Justin said you should come back up. I will come up when I can. Okay. Tell him to hold the fuck on. Well, you got to be mean to him. He's just looking out for you. Did you guys maybe want to call the police on or something on us? No. The, the, you don't want him to? No. Why? 
You guys are just doing what you're supposed to do. What, what, what did he do wrong? Nothing. So why are you yelling at him? Because... Did he know? No. He doesn't know no. about it? No. How many people are up there? Three now. So four counting you? Two, yes. three. Any children up there? No. You ain't got no children? No. no Cody's empty. 22. I don't care about Cody being 22. I'm asking if you have any children up there. No, no children. No children that don't want to be up there? No children at all. You have access to children? No, sir. In any part of your life? Cousins you babysit or anything like that? So you don't, you don't do any kind of daycare at all? Nothing? I mean, the closest I'm around children is at work, and I work in a public restaurant. Well, there's 16, 16 year olds there. Are they in trouble? What do you mean in trouble? You gotta be right there, Claire. Are they in trouble? Or are they are? Should we worry about the people you work with? No, sir. You're not. You're not trying to set up 16 year olds no, with sir. these random guys. I just feel bad. The only one you've ever done is this poor girl. So Ellie gets the, the shit because your boundaries. This poor little girl right there. Poor little girl. Just turned 14. And you wanna call it what you want. You wanted to give her to another man for your benefit. I think it would show a lot. Um, obviously, I know you don't want your husband called, but I think you should call the police. I think it'd be better that you call than I call. Okay. Want to use my phone? May I go up and let them know what's going on? Sure. We're not. We're, right we can, yeah, we're standing here. <clears throat> um, please don't come down or have anyone else come down with weapons. This is you're right. fucking you're insane, right. dude. You're right. There's all trafficking. Dude, this, this bitch is like 100% trying to... Yeah. She's she's definitely the middle woman. You yeah. know what I mean? We got cars on it? Cars? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know how long ago, uh, but yeah, she's instructed right away. Because I don't know this county. They take forever. Dude. Get ready with this. Okay. You want to get on site? <laughs> I mean, just be ready for anything. This is fucking insane, dude. Dude, you're right. I, I really dude, there's think... there's energy here, man. There is something happening. Dude, there's fucking more people keep coming out of that house. Did they investigate this guy? I bet she is fucking trafficking kids. Dude. Well, I got her to admit about the prostitution stuff, but I, I guarantee there's something recently. Yeah. Wow, bro. What do you guys think, chat? What do you think? Is there more to this? <laughs> Should we flee? What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to take a quick peek over here. I'm just joking. CPP ain't fleeing. <clears throat> Is your husband even wondering why you're out here? Everything calmed down up there now? I told him exactly why I'm like, I'm going to jail. We didn't because say you're going to jail. We're not police. We're we not can't police. take you to jail. You just, you, I, I'm calling the police on myself. Sorry. Doesn't mean you're going to I jail. I expect to go because. Well, you should expect I it. To, I need to face my actions. I need to deal with the consequences. And I hope you mean this. I do because I really feel fucking stupid. I'm I so hope to God me. there's not children that you've trafficked. I hope no, to God. No, sir. I, okay. I swear on my life. I know that's just words, but I swear this is the first time. First child you ever tried to traffic or I get to another. I mean, call it what you want to call it. I get. It's, it's straight up. You did it for free. You didn't even charge. Nine one one's good. I'd say this is an emergency. Yeah. Do you know they're not emergency? It, but I would call nine one one. This is an emergency. I mean, you call whoever you want. But. What do I say that I need to the truth? turn my... Who's this guy that went out the back door taking off? I don't know. We have to... Right there. Oh, that's the that same guy, guy that went yeah, in. He just left. Has he got a warrant it's the dude with the beard and the long hair. Uh, no, that's in there. 18. No, that was the same guy that walked in. I thought East so. 16th Street apartment. It was the guy who walked in. I'm out front. Oh shit. Um. Okay. I uh. Yeah. 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 18. girl online and I talked to her sexually and I was going to meet up with her to hook her up with another older and man. hooked her up I was going to hook her up with an older man not thinking and everything and um and I was told that I should call you guys and I, I, what else do I say 
Um, what you want to say. My name's Tanya Patrick. Uh, yes, ma'am. The older man was a while back, and I don't talk to him anymore, but yes. Um, the girl? Um, what do I say? Where is the girl? Um, she's not here. She's not here. I don't know if she's real, but... Uh, Colorado Pet Patrol. So, Colorado Pet Patrol is here? We stopped the meet up. <laughs> There's not a 14 year old girl here. Is there really a no. 14? No, no there's, there's no 14 year old girl. There's not a 14 year old. It was the Colorado Pet Patrol. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Um, they came and confronted me, and I'm facing up for my actions because I understand it was wrong and everything. And uh, this was my first time doing it, so I feel really bad, not only for getting caught, but for doing it. So they suggested I call, or they call, so I said I would call, and they're right here listening and everything, and I'm being honest with you. They're broadcasting live to yes, 3,689 people. That's it. Yes, ma'am. It's gone up since. Okay, bye. You really need to get a counselor and get some serious help. You've got some other issues, obviously, and if you can fix this. I want to. I don't want to. I don't know. See, I kind of believe you don't want to hurt somebody. I don't, and I'm so fucking stupid. And that's why I'm admitting up to it, because I know what I did with the open. <laughs> You're really lucky it's us and not it wasn't a child here, because then it's not attempt. It would have been all, you would be in prison for yes. longer than this is why we do this, man. Society can't function with people like this, man. If, and I understand if you did meet up I with a seventh grade child, that child has parents who put love into that kid for 14 years until you show up and hand her over to some random guy on the internet. Like, come on, this is exactly it, why we do this. Allowing it to go so far is what scared me because you allowed it to go so far and if it wasn't for the fact that you didn't like this guy anymore or if she would have been available you know that second you're you, right you would have had some guy really doing some bad stuff to her and he didn't care obviously right and that's what scared me i didn't was he like excited about it like that's what i felt yeah he seemed aggressive about it huh he kept pushing you and pushing you and that's why i just couldn't do it anymore i didn't want to but i felt even more dirty after i suggested and everything and then just like i yeah, you told her, you said, I got this guy and he wants a threesome, and I immediately thought of you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that, um, when I thought of her, that was a sneak out. And then when I, my mistake was even telling him about her and shit. Yeah. And it's, No, the whole mistake was even continuing after she admitted. Right, and it's crazy that he was so into it. You see why we're doing it? It's everywhere. We, no, this and is I, too... I, I, I agree with your guys' work and everything, and I agree with my situation. And, like, that's why I'm not trying to fight her or nothing, like... I just wish she wasn't on the line on my internet, but I get it. 322 I... people we've caught in two years and five months. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I'll give you my thoughts on it. I think the reason we've never caught a woman is because, in general, women have an instinct to protect children. Because women give life to children, right? Where's that instinct with you? What happened? Like, how is this even possible? A lot of people on this team didn't think we were going to catch a woman, and here you are. We've got couples before. There we go. They're here. You don't have to. Let's be honest, that's your best. Let's get up here. Very honest. She says she wants to get help. Um, basically, okay. what I got through you is a book. 
She was trying to set up a 14-year-old threesome with a guy she had met online. They were going to meet today. Um, there's four people in the house, three males plus her. Okay. They all know about this 14-year-old child. Okay. Um, she said that she was going to, again, have a threesome with them. So this is our 14-year-old. We put 39 on the app, but immediately tell them that we're 14. We have to put 30. We have to put something of age, otherwise we get booted. Okay. Um, I have these numbered, like... This is so. This is our child's profile, and then if you run through it, this is your book, by the way. Okay. This is just up on there. The detectives want every piece of paper, so uh -huh. we give you every piece of paper. Um, that is her. Okay. Um, this is her profile, and then uh, she's looking for sex and wife swap. Okay. This is the first message where she reaches out to us. <clears throat> we give her our phone number because, again, we try to get them on text now because we don't want to get blocked. Okay. So we get over. She reaches out to us on text now. This is now text now. Just chatting, where are you from, where are you located? Talking about movies and if you have free time. Right here, I'm not 39, I'm 14. What, you for real? And they confirm. And then, like I said, this is your book. Um, thank you for telling me the truth. Green is just kind of like, they're, they're getting a little weird. And red is like where she tried to set up sex. Um, if you want to go through the whole book, you can, or I can just skim through it for you. It's up to you. I'll probably flip through um, On the back too, um, just so you know, is like our OSINT work where we found them. And then in the very, very back, the last page is our decoy with a full uh, written state. Okay. So I can give you this book if you want yeah, it. You Any questions? Um, this is just my notes on what we're going to talk about. I will tell you, she is the most honest person. Right to. Front, uh, Absolutely. And we have that okay. recording from start to finish. We have about 51 in the, uh, interview with her where she okay. did say, I mean, effectively, man, she's trying to traffic this kid to some guy she never met on the internet. Okay. I mean, that's what I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's our 322nd catch. Uh, that our first, first one. You know. Okay. So you guys have some experience. A little bit, a little bit. And um, we have 166 on-site arrests. Okay. So a lot of our cases are still going through, but we have a ton of convictions. We've been to trial. We've done it all. Okay. <sighs> but I do. It's scary. She's very honest. Now, have you guys talked to the other people inside? Or is no, it's just what she said. Okay. One kid briefly, came out. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she said it was her brother. He said, what's going on out here? Like, you come up here now. And she said, you get upset. She didn't want him to know. So he told the brother what was happening, and the brother went back upstairs. Okay. We already called the police, but she was like, I want to go turn myself in. And we're like, we didn't want her to just go to the police department. So, you know, yeah. we just told her, hey, if you want to turn yourself in, go ahead and call. And she did. And she was very honest on there. She even said she tried to hook up a child with a I guess he's like 48, and the husband's 48 as well. And you'll see the picture of the man that she was trying to meet up with at a hotel. The meeting was set for today. Um, it's supposed to be in Westminster. He got sick, so she said she was going to come later. So we don't know. We can't prove she was going to come. But she did say on camera, I was going. I was going to meet her. Okay. So we do have that, too. Okay. Yeah, and um, you guys probably have a way to get me that. Absolutely. Evidence. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. give us a link, we can shoot it over to you. Over to Axon? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Sweet. Okay. From start to finish. We started recording before we got here, and yeah. Yeah, obviously we'll record to the Including end. Including the video and the, uh, the text evidence, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have almost and everything. There will be a few more messages that we didn't have on the printer. Obviously, okay. you know, as we're driving, uh, we'll get you the whole file digitally. Okay. So you can see there's no deleted messages. This is a wild one. Yeah, and I mean, it sounds like she's pretty, like you said, up front she, and honest. Really and then depending on what she tells my partner, yeah, I might, I might call the DA just for yeah, a Sure. Um, I don't. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, uh, Whatever you got to do, I understand. Do this. Jeez, that's I mean, she explained everything she did. You, you In know. Detail. <laughs> and it generally agreed, you know, that that's what was happening, and, and seemed to chalk it up to having boundary issues, man. It's, wow. Yeah. Shut off. Shut us down. We've had some honest people, but I feel she was like. Oh really? It still is. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the other way. I'm like, no, oh, I want it. Yeah. So blue is where you said, is, or red is where she makes the initial? Like where you're getting some sexual talk and stuff like that. Okay.
she was having some serious, you could tell as you read, she was having some, she knew it was wrong. The thing that scared us is the meeting with the older guy. And the meet for today, the husband was coming, but got sick. Yeah, she even said, like, I, I can't be aggressive as the men yeah, are. Yeah, I don't have and she's like just said it weird, like, the men are, like, she's a female predator, so she can't be, like, you know, that straightforward. It's like, she wow. the balls like the man. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking. Yeah. <laughs> I no. And then, I don't know if it's important, but as soon as you guys pulled up, one of the guys boogied. Oh, did he? He did. On foot? Long or? hair on foot, yeah. Okay. And she said it was her neighbor. It wasn't her neighbor. It was the same guy that she said was her guy, so. Okay. And so, you know. he apparently knew she was planning on meeting a child. She said that she texted him today and said, is it right for me to go meet a child in Westminster today, 14 years old? And he said no, and that's pretty much all she said. I, uh, yeah. I didn't know about it. But yeah, once he found out that you guys were here, he just walked out. And she tried to say it was her neighbor, but it was, we have it on recording, so same guy that walked in the house. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, I'm sure I looked at it. Yeah, I did, I did. Yeah. But if, how many people know about this? Four, because she's talked to like four. For sure, four. Counter therapist five. Yeah. She went to her therapist yesterday, asked if this was okay. And the therapist said no way. Does she ever use the, like, actually say, we have sex? She talks, she doesn't. I see the part where she's like, can you touch me so can watch Yeah, me? Um, I don't think she actually says sex, okay. but it does get definitely, uh, yeah, where they're talking about the threesome and stuff like that in there. Okay. But I don't think it was actual, like, you know, he's going to have sex with you. I don't think that worked. Some, she could watch, she could join, touch yourself, whatever you're comfortable with. So you guys saw this dude? No. Yeah, that's, that's the guy she tried to set up for the hotel meeting. Random 48 year old or whatever she, she says. She doesn't know him and has only talked to him on Snapchat, so all the messages have disappeared. Yeah. Blocked him because he was pushing her to set up this meeting with the child. There's one case now. Uh, 
to go through her device because I think there's okay. something going on there. The husband? This is four people in that house. Three of which she admitted knew about this. He's 20 years old. Yeah. Sorry guys, trying to keep her in frame. Trying to give the police a respectful distance here. Tommy's GoPro just went down from the heat. Mine's still going. Handed the book off. Zoom in, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep my GoPro on them and be able to see the phone. Can't see chat though. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I'm just going to stay zoomed out, guys. In the final, we can zoom in here. So I can't hear them, so I'm going to assume you can't too. Uh, check us out on Odyssey for our um, back catalog of catches. O-D-Y-S-E-E, C-P-P -E, merch, get shirts. Smash that like to support it. Sorry guys, I'm shaking.
I zoom in, it's a dangerous game. I turn my head to look at Tommy and we lose the frame. So for those who have just joined us, uh, Tanya here set up a meeting with a 14 year old child for bad stuff and uh, also introduced his child to another man that she met on the internet, doesn't know his name, for inappropriate stuff too. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Give you guys a break from uh, being seasick. Dropped off the book in the car.
I agree they need a search warrant. So I give my first look at chat in a while. Chat is way behind. There we go. Can't really see the chat, guys. I got a GoPro strapped to the middle of my chest, which is the only one left running. So I need to keep the camera to the side. I just poured some in here. You're and it's that. hot. Brand new, never, never jumped off. I took car with some of the water out of it. And it's sunny, and the glare on the screen. I don't want to bore you with the intricacies, but that's the issue we're running into. Your GoPro down? Yeah. You want to man the camera? Yeah, yeah, I can man the camera. We're good on the heat on this thing? Uh, I have no idea. I don't even know how battery's doing. I'm going to jump off you over here, guys, real quick. And when action comes, I'll come back. I don't want this to shut off on you guys. Um, it's not even that hot. That's the sad part. It's not even that hot. I will get you guys back over as soon as we got any action. I just would hate to lose a phone. How you guys doing? Oh, oh it is hot. Holy crap, this phone is hot. Damn, it is hot. Thank you, Cars. Cars, what happened today? It was so weird. So when I asked you if you could call the police, three minutes later, Colorado State Police called me. And I'm like, damn it, she called the police. So I called him back, and he was looking for LJ's hunting and, and supply. <laughs> so it was just a random. The state police number was calling for LJ's hunting and supply or something like that. So are there kids upstairs? I don't know. Ooh. Somebody's smoking the reefer. Um, there was four, four, three men upstairs, one female. And then when the police were coming, I don't know if you guys caught it, the guy that walked up took off. Wasn't running, but he was walking fast. And she tried to act like she didn't see him and she clearly saw him. And then she's like, that was my neighbor. So she's giving me the dog down right now. Y'all yeah, smash the like, can we get to 2000? Can we get to 2000? She has a GoFundMe page for a kidney transplant. Okay. I mean, you know what? I mean, I'm not surprised, I guess, but she went up and warned him. Oh, of course. Who do you got in there? I'm sorry? Who do you have in the van? Nobody's in the van. They're just on the other side of the van. It's, it's the neighbor upstairs. She's not in the van. She's on the other side of the van. And that neighbor upstairs on that side? That side. Oh, this side? Yeah. yeah. Tanya? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, Tanya. But they're not in the van. They're just on the other side of it. Oh. Your van, I promise, has nothing to do with this. They're just using that as shade, I think. I don't know. Okay. Um, she has a GoFundMe for a kidney transplant. She has kids. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can't confirm any of this, but that's what they're saying. Yeah, that's, chat's pretty good, but that's what I just heard. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we can't even see the chat. The glare from the sun is. I can see it now. Yeah. But dude, it's hot, hot, hot. We we're in the shade before, but we got GoPros. And it's not even that hot outside. I mean, it's hot, but it's not yeah. hot enough to shut these down. Well, when you're in the sun, it's blade baking, yeah. Well, I'm over here in the shade talking. It's not that hot, guys. Right. Billy's like, hot. "Fuck you, go stand in the sun for ten minutes." Putting in the work out there. Uh oh. She's got something in that van. No, it's not her van, guys. It's not her van. This lady's worried about the van. I don't think she understands. Going for the house for the phone. Is that what he's doing, calling the DA? I don't know, but they need to be. Dude, seriously, they need to get that phone. They need to go up and see if there's any this computers. This lady's passing kids off to adults, man, that she doesn't know. And why isn't... Would, wouldn't you come out if your wife was down here? Like, why are they... Yeah. It's, it's weird. How do we know if she was getting money for it or not? Like, she said she didn't have kids. Now we think she might... I bet you she has kids. I bet you she doesn't have possession of them. I mean, uh, custody I of them. I hope not. I don't know what vehicle's hers. I have no clue. I think that one. I don't know why, but I just, I see a shady plate. Yeah. And uh, that gets me yeah. thinking. Those are the ones that you, like, can go on the, the pay lanes and shit, right? And the cameras can't get you? Isn't yeah. that what that is? Um... I don't, I don't think they're going In Arizona, to they're illegal. Supposedly, yeah. They're supposed to work. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder how honest she was with them. Obviously not honest, or they would have cuffed her ass up by now. Shout out to Crandall. He did amazing. Yeah, Crandall. Hit the like, you guys. Let's get it to 2,000 likes. I know we got those people that just will not hit the like. Oh, God. Is that mom? Oh, never mind. Okay. What's her name? Tanya. Last name Hardy. I have more. What? I forget, no. I forget her last name. I have it in the book. I just forget. Zero instinct in her to protect the child. Man. None. None. And when you said that, that was so good. You're like, you know, girls don't do it because they have the tendency to, you know, protect children. Where did yours go? Like, where did your... Ugh. Was it ever there? Like, was it ever there? Not that it's none of my business, but this is crazy. We should get over there. Okay, you want to take this and I'll talk to him? Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure I'm going to get this All right, can I get on your desk? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Um, so...
he's going to go grab that. Um, new genre, uh, Pred catches in silent. <laughs> We wouldn't silent it, guys, unless we needed to silent it, right? Like, we used to not be good at that. We're getting better, okay? It took us 320 catches before we stopped doxing each other. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, they want, you know, the, the text messages and stuff. And unfortunately, you guys, this is just this is the shitty part of the job when you know you got a bad one. You know you got a bad one. <laughs> she's 26, and she's out here luring in kids luring in kids for adults that shit's uh that's a that's a felony in like 48 states what do you think man i'd say she's more dangerous than a male predator for sure you? because she could she could she could gain the trust that's of right. a child's parent that's right? right and then all of a sudden just passing this child to men who she doesn't even know who they are if we were like, she can control them right yeah i got muted again because he's gonna he's gonna talk about Sweet, yeah, we should be good then. Cool. Um, if, if, in, sorry, I know you said this sorry, but you guys don't have information on the other people. We don't. Right? No. Yes, she, yeah, she was really good about that. So, yeah. All right, cool. Well, gentlemen, um, I'm going to get this stuff over to the DA and it'll probably just get like, uh, forwarded to detectives. Sure. So Will she be arrested or no? Probably not. Right no. Now. So, um, but you guys got some good evidence. All right. So, um, just not just, today. Yeah, just not today. So more than likely, the detectives will be there for investigation. Sure. Um, but yeah, and you said you, you can overnight that phone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, overnight, and it still takes two days right. or so. But right. yeah, I can do that. But hopefully, by the hopefully, it'll be here by the end of the week. If not, no. for sure. Saturday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still around the kids. So. All right, gents. Well, I appreciate Thanks, man. you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. That's, a, that's a sad day, bro. Is that a meeting when you said? Yep. Nice. Yep. Let everybody know that the Loveland DA is okay with you. I mean, dude, they should, and I get it, but they should they should have an officer like they did in Springfield, pull up, get up in there, watch everything, make sure until they get their warrants, you know? That's what they did in Springfield. She gets to walk away today. We need footage of her walking away. <laughs> Probably. Oh, no, we do. <laughs> we do. What is her going back in her house, man? This is ridiculous. It's her car. No, maybe not. Just checking. There's three people in that apartment, plus her therapist, didn't know what's going on, man. And they're going to let this girl walk. Unreal, huh? Unreal. I will say, if I seen one, if I could pick one to go to jail, this would be one. I'm astonished. That's heartbreaking, bro. This is the shit that makes me, like, I got so much more work to do, you know? We should be 100% arrest on site. Should be 100%. Then our, our, uh, our conviction rate should be, like, 99.99999. Uh, so we're not going to arrest her today. What we're going to do is uh, forward it to the detectives. What they got is really good, but, you know. She's not giving us much. Uh, this guy's upstairs. There are some characters. And the GoPro is, get, is gone. So, we're just going to leave it at that. You think she's sad or is it a poor me bullshit? She's not sad. At all, huh? Nope. Dude, she couldn't even cry and she kept trying and trying. I mean, she had yeah. tears at one time when we said the cops. Yeah. The theme with her, did you notice, was la, 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 la. Again, I'm no doctor, but she's chalking the shit up to boundary issues, man. And everything she said is, well, the law, I could get in trouble. It was never that I, this is wrong because it's a child. Yeah. The fuck? Randall, thank you so much. Oh, she's crying. Yeah, because she's got. Yeah, yeah. 
Because <laughs> the police was there. Because she thinks she's going to jail. She sure does. I mean, it'll lighten right up when she figures out she can walk back into her house. Could be an epic, epic dog in there. Yeah. And again, it is not the cop's fault. The way he was talking to me, it sounded like she was going to jail. Though. Well, we'll see what she says, and then we might call the DA. If it was the sheriffs, we have a successful case that we just had. Yeah. They didn't arrest him on site, but eight, nine, ten days later, they arrested him. So. Uh -oh. Yeah, after she flushes her fucking dumb phone down the door, they do it. This is weird. Huh? This is weird. They went up and talked to her and then they went and had a little another powwow. I know what they're saying. We got kids. This fucking sucks. What if this lady traffics our kids while we're gone? <laughs> For real. There's really traffickers out there in all different sizes, man. Really? Look at, are they even watching out the window? Like, probably not. They're like, oh, boundary issues acting up again. You saw that guy leave, right? Yeah. This is the same guy that walked in. I think so. Same long hair, same clothes. Yeah. Unless there's two guys from the 70s rocked in. There we go. Oh, give you the card. Is she going to talk to us as she walks by? Sorry, guys. Got a lot of flight jumping though, bro. Three yeah. charges of flight, uh, prosecution evasion, flight risk thing. Three of them. Mm -hmm. I just want to get her walking away and then we'll be done. I do not want to be around this scumbag any more than I have to. Yeah. I think it's important to... It is. Yeah. How's the quality been, guys, of the life? Has it been all right? Get the news involved on this one. Great quality, great, great, good. Fire, quality's been good, great, nice. That's rare, and we're out in like, yeah. where you wouldn't expect it to be good. Yeah, like, yeah, but within like a mile of this place, I had nothing, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. You were checking and seeing? I can get this up for everybody quickly. I gotta go home and check some things, but this will be on Odyssey in the next three hours. Because um, I'm an hour away from home and then one hour upload. So two, two and a half hours. Get the news. Um, so the count, so this county, you guys, we had the sheriffs come out on the guy that Looked like the wedding chapel thing over his house, his, where we were at. The one that was threatening to kill himself. He has since been arrested. Um, it wasn't an on-site arrest, but they, they did everything they could do, and he was arrested. So that was amazing. Uh, I do feel that this will happen. What I don't like is the time she's going to get to prepare for the knock on the door. That's what I don't like. Okay? again one more one more powwow he's like man i really want to take her in i mean can we wait till we go i wanted to say i'm just gonna sound weird but i want to say thank you guys
jail, I guess. So. I understand it's wrong. I don't understand why they're not taking me to jail. I should go. But um, they'll be back in contact with me, they said. So um, thank you, guys. Get some help. Get some help. I'm not going to give another reason for this to happen very good. Okay. All right, well, we're out of here. They told you you can go too? Okay. I'm going to grab my water and then we're out of here. Have a good day, cousin. Get that therapist talk in, you know? Get it get it worked out. So, we're out of here. I don't know. That was that was awkward. She, see, it's pretty sad when the predator says, "I don't understand why I'm not going to jail. I should be." Right? Like, you want to follow us to like a gas station? Could be there out of bed, you know. Do you have time to go to a gas station real quick? Yeah. Follow us. See you there. Yeah. All right, you want to say goodbye? Oh, bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys too. Uh, let me jump in here real quick. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't know if I'll ever get it, but it is what it is. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Smash the like on the way out. It's a fucked up world, guys. See ya. Bye. I mean, when she says.